Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another Stackland Studio experience. This one is going to be a gross one, and it's kind of a story time one, which I'm also kind of irritated with all the memes about YouTuber story time. Um, but I, this opportunity presented itself to me, so I'm not going to, you know, not going to, not take it um so over the holiday season uh someone in my family went out and bought some uh bacon jerky from walmart and this is the story of how uh walmart essentially tried to kill us so if you don't know i'm actually allergic to penicillin my whole family is and if we eat it or get anything like even close to it um like any of its cousins or anything like that we turn into giant balloons and have to be taken to the hospital so the problem was and i'll put the pictures up here um when we opened up the bag of bacon turkey it was completely molded and Again, these pictures are not for the the light of heart, man, cuz this this is gross. And it's unacceptable that Walmart and Jack Links tried to kill me. And honestly, it it just blows my mind. I guess I want it to blow up so big because if the more people who know about this, you know, share, tweet, all that with this video. Maybe we can put a dent in Jack Links and Walmart's revenue. And, I mean, I don't mean to hurt anyone, but the fact is that this is unacceptable from these two companies. So, what we need to do is we need to either boycott these companies which is almost impossible, or we just need to stop buying as much from these companies. So Jack Links already charges $5 a bag for their, you know, jerkies. So why should we pay that? There are other brands that are more than willing to take your money. So take my advice, go with other companies, don't continue buying from Jack Links, and if you can, avoid buying from Walmart. I know that this video won't gain much traction and probably no one will care. But the fact is that people need to understand that this is a serious issue. And we need to get it figured out. We need to get Walmart to stand up. And we need to get... <clears throat> we need to get Jack Links thrown in prison. Because this is completely unacceptable to bypass all of these various different levels of quality assurance and still deliver a product like this. I'm calm headed now because it's, you know, been a couple days and Christmas has passed. But it still is not okay. So, tell me what you guys want me to do next. I'm thinking about calling my local news station and talking to them and getting a story with them because this is absolutely unacceptable. And as far as I know, Walmart and Jack Links have done nothing to remedy it. So if you like, like this video, share it with your friends and family so that they understand that you should not buy Jack Link's products anymore, and that you should avoid Walmart at all costs. Now, sadly, I have to go to Walmart because I have a uh, credit card through them, so I can't avoid Walmart. I'm trapped into their ecosystem. So don't make the same mistake I did. Go with a place like Kroger if you're in Ohio, or Turkey Hill if you're in the rest of the U.S., um, or any other 
place that's not Walmart. And I don't even know if Sam's Club is even safe anymore. So, if you guys have your own stories, tell me down in the comments below. Have you guys had this experience with uh, Jack Links before? What experience stories do you have? Tell me down below, and I may even make a uh, second video about this where I share your guys' stories. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked, again, like the video, share it with your friends and family. And um, I'm not sure if this video will have gameplay or video. I'm recording the video just in case. Um, but thank you again so much. Let us make 2017 the best year ever. So, as always, remember to stay loyal and stay subscribed. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.